Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christiana or Triple T and if you're new here, welcome. So today we're heading to the dumpsters. We're going to a party city. Party city's been very good to me lately. Yes, granted the items are not like essentials, but they've been throwing out crazy amount of things and it's such a waste. So I feel like I need to save all those things from the landfill. Anyway, so headed to Party City, headed to Periwinkle Boutique because they're closing. They've been very good to me lately too. So looking forward to going there. Um, I think we're headed to a Bath and Body Works and a few others along the way. So stick around and let's save the world one dumpster at a time. Party City Dumpster. This is a mess today, but I already see some like straw on the floor. So, a straw bale, still wrapped. A little bit poked over there, but still fine. What else is in here? All right, I think I see another bale of hay. Yep, right here. Man, what is this? Nothing, just a bunch of cardboard. But I do see this. And this is a cannon. And it's not... Oh, yes. It is open. Okay, garbage that is. Alright, as I make my way around... I see more bales of hay, so I'm gonna take those. And then looking down, I see this cute sign, and this piece just needs to be glued on. North Pole, so cute. All right, I moved away some things, and it is difficult to dive in here because there's so much, so much trash. But, let's see if this pinata is okay. Oh, it's a pokeball. You know what, I'm gonna grab it and my daughter will play with it. What's that, a hamburger? Birthday decor. A hamburger hat. <laughs> what else do we got in here? This I don't think would be blown up. So I'm gonna take it and if it was torn. Oh no, it was torn. Sad. Hmm. What's this? A mask? That's so cute. Napkins. Snow confetti. I wonder if I can grab this. Is this a bag? It looks like it. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get this bag out and we'll go through it together. Look at this huge bag. There's a train going by, so it's pretty loud here, but look at this huge bag of chestnuts and bugle. This is a great donation for the Pine City Dumpster. I mean, what the heck am I saying? For the food pantry from the Pine City Dumpster. <sighs> this is fantastic. I'm just going to grab this whole thing. Alright guys, that was a great score. That's it in this dumpster. Harry Winkle Boutique Dumpster. Let's see if there's anything good this time around. Ooh, that's pretty. What's this? Come on, Angel. Wow, this is like a big, big thing. I wonder if I can grab this out. It's very pretty. All right, 
I'm gonna grab this out and then you will see it at the reveal. Pet store dumpster. I see a bag right there. So I'm gonna go grab that. And if there's anything else under here, you will see it at the full reveal. But that looks like some dog food. Ooh, great score. This is what we got at Periwinkle Boutique. It is this stand that spins. It says Periwinkle by Barlow. And it spins really nicely. It probably held like those little packs of earrings or whatnot on here. But I thought I could repurpose that. And I don't know, put toys on it. And this part opens up, which is super nice. So it is a little dirty, but we can clean that off and it'll look just fine. And then we also found this angel. I don't know what it's to, but it's cute. I'm just going to put it on our little fireplace area here because of the holiday season. It'll fit right in. So that's what we got at Periwinkle Boutique this dive. This is what we got at the Bath and Body Works dumpster. We got a vanilla and patchouli candle. Not burned, just cracked. A Victoria's Secret pink urban bouquet. A little bit of... What is this? Perfume, scented mist. I don't know why it's in that dumpster, but it was, even though it's not Victoria's Secret. And then we got a tree farm scented candle, and it is just a little bit cracked in the front, but not burned. A small but good haul from Bath and Body Works. This is what we got at the pet store dumpster. So we got a bunch of wee wee pads, which are such a great score for my family and then we got some blue buffalo dog food unopened and unexpired so that's a great donation to the animal shelter this is what we got at the party city dumpster this is only table one of two so we got a hamburger hat so funny actually it's a cheeseburger hat Super cute, brand new with the tag. We got some pinata candy and a pinata. Yes, it is busted a little, but we can still use it. We can fill it up and have some fun with it. So that's cool, it's a Pokeball. Then we have 24 Swirly Pops. These have definitely seen better days. They are crushed. It's like during shipping, they really got destroyed, but still individually wrapped, not opened perfectly fine to use and eat. This is a number seven, very small pinata. We've got a steampunk mask, which is pretty interesting. We also have one of these other white masks that have like a three leaf clover on the front. So some of that. So we've got some Halloween props from this dive. We also have this North Pole sign, which if you can see, all the way back there is where it fell off from. And that is also what we found from the Party City dumpster. So it's a really cute sign and I will be gluing back that North Pole onto that spot. Then we have some birthday decor. This says happy third birthday all of these things are included and you can change the age. So that's perfect for any age to decorate for a birthday. Then we have this masquerade mask, brand new, still in plastic. We have these two sets of napkins, happy birthday napkins. We have a what size is this tummy tape for a baby shower game. One little tea light, which works, if I can turn it on. Eee, very cute. Then we have this pair of elf leggings. We've got two packets of Snow Flurries confetti. This one does have a little hole right here, but I'll just tape it on up. And the other one's perfectly fine. We have a Thanksgiving headband that says thankful. And we got this little fidget spinner, magnetic ring. 
We have a pack of mixed colored balloons in silver, gold, and black. We have a Christmas card that says joy. Nothing is wrong with it. Everything is perfectly fine. So I will probably be using this for one of my friend's presents. We got some Christmas napkins. We have a pack of these really tiny cute favors. They were supposed to be and you wet them with water and it becomes little um, water paints, which is so cute. Perfect for like a to-go kit for my daughter and it'll be so much fun to play with her with this. Then we have a pack of candy canes that just fell out. None of them are broken, so I will be decorating the tree with my daughter with these. We have a pack of New Year's necklaces. We got two of these really awesome glasses. Some of these say, good wine, fun times, and great friends. This one says, friends are the family we choose. Family and friends, the perfect blend, and grateful for friends who are like family. I love these so much that I'm going to keep them, and then when I have like a friend's giving, or even any dinner with my family and friends, I will use them. They're really, really cute. Then we also got these straw bales of hay. So we have two, four, six, eight bales of hay back there. They must have just threw them out because Thanksgiving is over, Halloween is over, and we are here in the Christmas holiday season, so it doesn't really fit in anymore. So save that from the landfill and this entire table as well. So we are going to pan to the second table that we saved from that party city dumpster this is the second table from that same dumpster and if you did notice over there in the back corner that's like a little sneak peek of next week's video that's going to include some bath and body works finds that i scored from their dumpster headless squirrels <laughs> anyway let's stick to this party city dumpster okay so we got a pair of Naughty and Nice Santa hats. I absolutely love those. My daughter already has worn the Naughty one, and I think it's pretty suiting for my three-year-old. <laughs> no, she's really a sweetie sometimes. <laughs> then we have this Deluxe Balloon Garland Kit, which is so cute. I probably am missing some balloons, but honestly, I could probably buy some on the side and replicate it regardless, because it tells you what exactly you need, and I can just probably get the missing pieces on my own. We also have this balloon kit, which is so cute, and I have all the balloons in there for that, so I'm super excited for that, so adorable. Then we have this She Said Yes sign, and it's huge. So it's like a big ring, and it says She Said Yes. Then we got back here, we have another Santa hat, and we have a Viking shield for Halloween. And we have a bag full of Chex Mix and Bugles. Such an awesome score from the Party City Dumpster. There's about 30 bags. Then we have this blue roll of tablecloth. Um, it's like that texture, that plastic texture. And I guess you just roll out what you need and it works or it might be like to make bows. I'm not exactly sure, but I think it would be easier to use it as tablecloth. I don't know, but I have a roll of that. <laughs> then we have this happy birthday, let's celebrate easel sign. Inside this little area are numbers. So you can just stick the number in this gold section to make it the appropriate number. Then we have a bunch of party bags. We have some treat bags over here, four sets of 25 and one silver one, the rest are clear. This is a rectangular treat bag, all clear. And this one is like a big basket wrap. So that's pretty neat. Then we have this letter W, it is really heavy. So it's like a wall decor piece. We have a Thanksgiving tablecloth. We also have this white rectangular tablecloth. We have a happy birthday bow, and we have a bunch of balloons. So we have this big frozen one, which is really nice. On the back 
It has Elsa. We have this black with gold and silver and stars. It is a big circular one. This one is a happy birthday one. We have a green star and a pink star. We have a pack of teal balloons. Then we have this Avengers balloon set, which is really nice. The last thing that we got on this dive was actually the tree topper for my tree that Santa had as well. So yeah, so this was a really great score this dive. We got a bunch of great holiday things and I'm very happy I could save it from the landfill. This is what we got at the Periwinkle Boutique dumpster. So it doesn't look like a lot, but what's on this table is actually close to a thousand dollars. It's insane. So we got a pair of Snoozy's Velvet Ballerina shoes. Brand new, super soft, never worn. Just dirty because I have it on my dirty tablecloth. <laughs> but a great score and great donation. We got this phone wristlet, super cute as well. We got a ring, which is, I think, Brighton. Yeah, Brighton. It says, a ring is round, it has no end. That's how long I'll be your friend. Super cute, adorable ring. We got these two toys, you open them up and they become monsters, so that's kind of cute. I think there was a slime packet in each of those, but they uh, opened up in the garbage, so it's still fine. We can still make them into funny, scary monsters with the body pieces that are inside. This is a bracelet. This is an Alex and Ani bracelet. This one also is an Alex and Ani bracelet for Harry Potter, nine and three quarters. This is a pendant that all you gotta do is slide it on a necklace. We got these two necklaces, one with the letter N and one with the letter L. And we have these three lip products. These were $8.99 and it's like a rollerball lip potion. Looks cute. And this one is Wine Knot lip gloss. It looks like a little tiny wine bottle and it's a lip gloss, super cute. We have this little necklace that is like a gold bar with a thin gold chain. We have a mom bracelet, which was $45, crazy. These are two CBD mango vape pods, I guess. I don't know, $22.99 a piece. And then all of these are lip glosses. We got two honeybees, a rose, a little gold, what is this even? Like a gem, like a diamond, a lime, and a disco ball. This disco ball was $6.99. Crazy, there's lip gloss in it, that's expensive. <laughs> then we got this cute little birdie pen. It's squishy over here and the foot comes off and the pen pops out. Then we got this bracelet. It is broken over here, so I'm thinking maybe I can try and fix the string, but I'm not sure about this one. Then over here is a ton of jewelry. So much jewelry. So this necklace is $11.99. That's one of our cheaper pieces. But these earrings over here were $70. $70. Look how beautiful they are. They are 18 karat gold plated. Like why throw that out in the garbage? That's bizarre to me. This one is like a little gem that I think cracked, but honestly, no one can even tell. This necklace is $60, bizarre, like not even broken. Like why is that in the garbage? <laughs> this one's another little gem. It's Lux Couture and they were both 30 bucks. This is a pendant that you slip on a necklace. And this is another pendant, I believe, that you can slip on a necklace. So salvage those. We got some earrings, one earring in each of these sets, even this one. This one must be expensive too. It's super cool looking. Um, but honestly, in the day and age that we live in, a lot of people just wear one earring on one ear and a different one on the other, which I actually do as well. So that's perfectly fine with me. We got this pair of tweezers. It is equipped with a light, which is super cool. 
like that. And then we have four of these lifted eye creams with CBD in it. These eye creams were $64.99 a piece, brand new in the box. And this one is a face cream, which was $20. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Then staying on the line with CBD, we got these two boxes of, it looks like Ferrero Rocher candies, but it's not. It is CBD chocolates. And one of those gold candies are $6.99. $6.99. So these are 50 and this is 25. So I have 75 pieces of $6.99 a piece. That's insane. This one is CBD honey, which is $1.99 a piece. One stick is $1.99. It's bizarre. And I have 50 sticks. That's crazy. So much, so much money right here just in these three bins. Crazy. And this, bizarre. Then we have this super neato ball. It is like a huge squishy ball that you can like knead. This one is a FAO Schwartz snow globe. So it's supposed to turn on and light up, but it doesn't. And this piece cracked off, but I found it. So I'm just gonna glue it back on. These two are salt and pepper shakers. One's gold, one's silver. I found the antler, so I'm gonna glue them back on. This is just some blank envelopes with a very pretty, oh wait. No, I thought that was a card. It's not, with a gold inlay. So that's really nice. This one's a great score. It is a Vera Bradley laptop case, and it was, I believe, $43, $48. Crazy, brand new. Like, why is that in the garbage? <laughs> then we got one sock, one compression sock. I wish there was two because I would totally use those. We got two of these fidget spinners, one sprinkles and one like unicorn pandas. We got some more jewelry. This is a really cute bracelet that like opens and closes by pulling. But the reason why this was in the garbage is this little pendant is not on this side, but still you can use it. This is a let your spirit float on the wings of love, a little ornament type thing. These are a pair of earrings that were $45. It's a gorgeous set. It has beautiful little cubic zirconias in it. Beautiful, really nice set. This also is a beautiful necklace. Nothing's wrong with it and it was $65. This one's a pair of earrings. One is missing a pendant, so just one earring, and this one's a one earring, and this one also is one earring, but we can use that even so. Then we have some just rogue chains. These are all just like plastic bracelets. It says love and strength and laughter. This one's a Hello Sunshine headband, and it changes colors in the sun. These are gloves all different letters monograms on the corners but this is a left and this is a right so this could be worn as a set um this is missing its pair they technically all are but this could be worn as a set <laughs> this is a pack of hair ties with smiley faces on them these are two chokers one's missing the pendant but you can just wear it plain then we have one shoe which is kind of cool this one it's like a water shoe almost. It has a sole on the bottom, but it's missing the other pair, but that would have been neat if the whole set was there. One mitten, another lonely glove, and a little case to carry like your tweezers in. And that is it. A humongous price point on all of these items here on the table, but not a huge amount even though it's a decent size amount, but the price point on this table is crazy. So Periwinkle Boutique is a fantastic place to dive. If you have it by you, I would suggest checking it out.